Okay, so um, if you watch my previous videos, I am doing a contest. Oh man, I didn't say what date the contest went in. Dang it. Okay, I'll put the, a little banner or something on the video and I'm gonna mention it in here. At being that it's December 30th and I have to get up early tomorrow morning for work. Um, don't think I'll post it till Friday, but that's New Year's Eve, so I might be out. Uh, okay, I wanna say the contest will end January 15th. Just random day, but I'm gonna say January 15th. Um, that's when the contest will end, um, midnight. So get your entries in, and basically it's just talking about, you know, the hair experience. It's open to everyone. You know, people thinking about going natural, people transitioning right now from relaxed to natural, and people who are already natural, already, you know, 100% there. Um, and then just trying to approve, improve or, you know, continue the journey for however long they can or for the rest of their life, I don't know. But um, yeah, so basically, like I said earlier in the video, the contest, Talk, um, talking about what one thing that you um, did last year, or not last year, it's not the new year yet, 2010 did this year, um, in regards to your hair journey, or your hair at, the, at its point, or whatever point it's at now, that you regret, that didn't go well, um, that you probably will never do again, um, and then one thing that you think you did exceptionally well that you learned that has become either a staple Products, staple regimen, staple, I don't know, something that you're gonna do, that you're gonna practice on a consistent basis from in 2011 and the years to come, and then your goals for 2011. So I'll um, go ahead and share mine. Um, I started transitioning June 2009. And I did my big chop May 28th, 2010. So I transitioned for 11 months. Now, one thing that I, or the main thing that I think I did, that I'm, actually it's two things that I did that I won't do ever again, now that I know better, is to go to sleep without a satin cap. I remember when I was relaxed and I wrapped my hair and I would sweat or I would just be a crazy sleeper and it would come off. And I never understood, like, the damage that it was doing when I when my scarf would come off. Um, okay, my camera had mm, something happened, so I don't even know where I left off. So, um, yeah, my hair goes or no, something I did in 2010 that I regret in regards to my natural hair journey, um, would be, uh, like I was saying, satin cap, satin bonnet, satin scarf, not using one when I was relaxed and even when I was transitioning because I could really tell um, that my ends were splitting, I had breakage um, and I think I was telling a story about wrapping my hair. Um, I didn't see the damage that I was doing because I just would wake up again and rewrap it. So when I finally went natural and I was trying to put my hair in these little puffs, there was a section in my hair that was really short. I want to say it was like this, um, it was like this much. And I would put gel, but I would have to use this toothbrush I actually used. A toothbrush, this toothbrush right here, to smooth it down. And I would have to put a lot of gel, then put like a wrapping net, uh, just to have it to lay down. And it's finally going back now. But, I mean, my mom used to always tell me, you brush your hair too much, you get too hard on your hair, so on and so forth. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I'm going to be more easy on my hair. Something, um, another thing, washing goes for me. With Eco Solid Gel and Cantu Shea Butter mixed together, never will do that again either. No. Um, now, as, as for what I will do, coconut oil, shea butter to do a twist out. Yes, like the bomb. Um, to detangle my hair, Hello Hydration all the way. That will be one thing that I definitely will use to um, detangle my hair. Oh, another thing I'm not going to do. Henna. Sorry. Won't do that either. It dried my hair out terrible. You can look at the videos that I did that talk about it. But anyways, back to what I will do. Shea butter, um, water, and coconut oil. 
and my hello hydration those would be my four things i definitely will continue to do because it leaves my hair so soft it smells good um it it just it does it it does what it needs to do like it moisturizes my hair so i know that my goal the part of my goal is to keep my hair moisturized um in regards to hair i don't really care about length mine is more about healthy hair um, I'm not going to be one of those naturals that straighten their hair all the time. I've only did it twice since I've been 100% natural. And it wasn't even straight and it was like blow dry. But, um, because I like the texture, I like the way it looks. Um, but my goal was to get more body. I want it to fall, like layer. Um, and I, I want it to hang. Right now I still have where it's, it goes out. And I don't mind it, but sometimes I just want it to hang. Um, I want to have better twist outs. I want to attempt to do braid outs. Um, I don't like them because they're crinkly, but I think it's the way I'm doing them. And, um, yeah, that's about, about basically it. Um, trim my hair more because I don't like get my hair trimmed, but trim my hair more. And if I did have to set, set a length goal, I hit a year in, in June so or in May. So my length goal for May will be, will, to, will be um, I want to say armpit length, one year. We'll see. Don't know if it's going to go that well because I don't spend that much time on my hair like some people do but another go i'm gonna give my hair more tender loving care um i'm gonna read more forms get more into youtube get more um into my blog um and focus on me that that's something that i didn't really do this year had a bad breakup in my head it was bad and so 2011 is going to be about showing myself unconditional love and along with that, realizing who I am through this natural hair journey. So yeah, um, I hope you guys participate in the contest um, and share you know, your goals because I think we can learn from each other. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.